In this problem, we're asked to identify the conjugate acid-base pairs in each of the following equilibrium systems. Let's look at the first example. In this situation, we have water reacting with nitrous acid HNO2 to produce the hydronium ion and the nitrite ion NO2-. In order to identify conjugate acid-base pairs, we have to remember that, by definition, Conjugate acid-base pairs differ by only one hydrogen ion in their structures or formulas. In this first example, we have H2O, and on the product side, we have H3O+. Those two structures differ by one hydrogen ion, so therefore, the water and the hydronium ion are a conjugate acid-base pair. The other question is, which of these two species will be acting as the acid and which will be acting as the base. On the reactant side of the equation, we see that the water is accepting a hydrogen ion to become H3O+, so therefore the water is initially a base and the hydronium ion would be its conjugate acid. Now let's look at the other two species in this equilibrium system. We have nitrous acid on the reactant side and the nitrite ion on the product side. Again, these two structures differ by one hydrogen ion. Therefore, the nitrous acid and the nitrite are also a conjugate acid-base pair. Again, we ask the question, which of these two species is the acid and which is the base? The HNO2 is donating a hydrogen to the water so therefore, the nitrous acid is acting like an acid. The nitrite can act like a base because it can accept a hydrogen ion from the hydronium in the reverse reaction. So therefore, the nitrite ion would be the conjugate base of nitrous acid. Now that we've gone through this example, we can make another important note. When we have a conjugate acid-base pair, the acid of the pair will be the species that has one more hydrogen ion than the other species. The base of the conjugate acid-base pair will be the species that has one fewer hydrogen ions than the other compound in the conjugate acid-base pair. Now that we've gone through this example, you should take some time and pause the video and see if you could identify the conjugate acid-base pairs in problem number B. You can then restart the video and see if you got your answer correct. By now, you should be able to identify a conjugate acid-base pair in an acid-base equilibrium equation. You should also be able to identify the specific acid and base of a conjugate acid-base pair.